To get ready for a new season, I always take my summer training very serious. Um, you know, making sure I'm still getting to the gym, getting my workouts in, and um, you know, get on the ice and working on my uh, my skills and my skating. That's a pretty long off season. I think beginning of the summer, you're just trying to rest up, heal any minor uh, bumps and bruises you have, and then once you kind of rest up, get your bearings back. You know, you start building back at the basics. I mean, this year we're finally majority upper class, which we haven't been in a, in a long time. So I think that with the Big Ten being so young, um, we can really can you know use that our experience to our advantage, and we'll be able to win those games. Yeah, I think we got um, great chemistry this year. The, the three freshmen have been awesome. They uh, they fit right in in the summer, and we got them acclimated pretty quick. And the older guys have uh, you know really helped them help them fit in, they look great out here, and I think three of them are gonna really uh, help us and have an impact on our team. Everything we do is with a purpose, you know, everything's hockey specific, and you know, we build into it so that we're all feeling really good when the season comes around, so. I mean, every single guy in that room has put in so much work and so much effort this year. You know, it will be worth it in the long run because we know we're gonna be one of the most conditioned teams in the strongest, you know, most in shape, and that's when we're going to be able to take advantage of teams. Yeah, this time of the year the competition is always high. Guys fighting for positions in the lineup. I think uh, this year especially, you know, it's definitely making everyone better on the team. No matter what spot you are in the lineup, I think everyone's valuing the competition and it's making everyone better no matter, no matter where you are, and uh, I think it's going to help us as a whole. Our goals as a team this year, obviously, win a national championship, Big Ten championship, all that. But I think as a team, we're just focused on getting better every day, day in and day out, and, you know, being the best possible team we can be. First, you know, that's going to be, you know, starting off with the Big Ten or non-conference extremely well, and then moving on to the Great Lakes Invitational, having a great uh, showing there. And it's been a long time. If you look up at the banners here since they've won that. So I think, you know, especially for the senior class, that's really something that, you know, we wanted to be a part of. And, be able to do, but if you look at our schedule, every single team that we play, minus a couple, is ranked. So, you know, if we start winning a lot of hockey games here, which we will, you know, we're going to find ourselves as uh, national contenders. And, you know, that's a spot that we want to be in. So that's extremely exciting. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to uh, really surprising a lot of people and, uh, you know, kind of being the underdogs here. Yeah, um, you know, coach's message to us this season is, has been uh, to make sure that we play, play the way that we know how to play, and uh, when we when we stick to the things that make us great, uh, you know we're a really successful team, and that's that's playing the right way, 200 feet, and uh, putting together a full 60 minutes. You know we know that uh, there's a lot of people doubting us this year, and we're kind of blocking out the noise and just control what we can control, and that's the way we play. Once last year ended, once the playoffs ended for us, we took a week and kind of reformulated and kind of got ready. And, and really, that's this season started about a week after last year's ended, and that was for the coaches and the players. And the guys had uh, they had a great spring. We got to work uh, a lot on the ice with uh, skills and uh, you know some concepts that we wanted to get across. They had a great uh, spring and summer in the weight room. Coach Forka pitched did a great job. Hockey's a fast game and everything's everything's based around speed and power and, and that's kind of the way we set up our, our off season. We implemented some new things, just kind of kept building. So when we got back, uh, the guys were really ready to go. And I think, you know, with this group, uh, guys have a pretty good idea of how we operate and how we have to do things. And, uh, you know, culturally, um, the, the level of work and, and the level of details has really improved. And we're, we're excited about that. And I think that, you know, where we're at uh, compared to the first year and compared to the second year, uh, I thought we really improved. And, and I think we will again in the third year. You bring your bathing suit today? You bring your bathing suit today? Just keeping your toes 
chemistry of lines that's that's a fun thing to try and put together and, and you have to try a few different things and you know we have some pairs that we like together um, you know Kodorenko and Lewandowski will be together and you know we're kind of looking for a guy to play on the right side of that line or the left side because Lewandowski can play on either side it's on the back side it's it's been uh, pretty clear the Kriegers have been kind of working together and Dennis uh, Susanna and Jared Rosberg are, you know, they were together all last year, had real good chemistry. So, you know, you, you work through that stuff and you, you try different things and you try and keep it exciting and um, you try and keep it new for the guys every day in good tempo. Uh, we get four hours on the ice every week and um, I think so far they, they've done a great job. I think uh, the, the coaches have, have done a good job mixing things around and now the guys are starting to get excited. They can they can see the game coming up here pretty soon. They know we're heading out on the road in just over a week, and uh, um, now it starts to feel real, and, and there's a little more excitement around the room before practices. You know, what I've talked about since since I first got back here in terms of, uh, you know, starts with recruiting and, and identifying the kind of, of players and, and athletes and students and, and character type people that we want to have here. Doing those two things has been been good and the buzz and the excitement around the arenas and around Michigan State hockey has been been outstanding. And then the third thing was was to get, you know, Munn back to being, you know, a really exciting place to play and we've had we've had really good increases uh, attendance wise and you know we were in the top ten in the country last year I think we'll increase that again this year then the expansion and get that going and we've got a hole in the ground and, and that should be ready for next year I think the players feel it uh, I know the coaches feel it and I think people in the hockey community uh, uh, can see what's happening here and it's, it's a good thing to be around right now